every five grams per day of dietary fiber, there was a 30% decrease in the risk of the cancer progressing or death. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a life-changing topic. Top foods that feed your microbiome and kill cancer, based on the research of Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and scientist who is leading the way in the fight against cancer through the power of food. If you're interested in how you can support your body's defenses with everyday foods, this video is for you. I wanted to share with you some information on the microbiome and cancer, because research in these two areas, microbiome and cancer, show they're related and important. Let's start with the basics. What is the microbiome? The microbiome is a community of trillions of bacteria and microorganisms that live in your gut. These tiny organisms play a huge role in our overall health, including how our bodies handle inflammation, fight diseases, and even how we digest food. Dr. Lee emphasizes that a healthy gut microbiome can protect us from cancer, thanks to its role in boosting the immune system. Now, your microbiome is one of your body's five health defense systems, and it's made up of 39 trillion bacteria mostly living in your gut. These bacteria are generally healthy. They help your body heal when it's injured. They lower your blood cholesterol. They help your metabolism and they send signals to your brain. But one of the most profound things your gut microbiome does is to help your immune system defend your body against cancer. 70% of your immune system is located in your intestines, right next to your gut bacteria. And the healthy gut bacteria talk to your immune cells as they conduct surveillance to seek out and destroy cancer cells. So this happens all the time. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. Let's dive into how a healthy microbiome can become your best ally in the fight against cancer and which foods can make all the difference. One, tree nuts. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cac uh, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity which tips the scales against cancer. Tree nuts like almonds, walnuts, and pistachios do wonders for your gut health and can help lower cancer risk. They're packed with fiber, healthy fats, and antioxidants that feed your good gut bacteria, reduce inflammation, and protect cells from damage. Nuts like walnuts even have compounds that gut bacteria turn into cancer-fighting agents. Regularly eating a handful of tree nuts supports a healthy microbiome, reduces inflammation, and may protect against cancers, especially in the colon and prostate. Incorporating tree nuts into your daily diet is an easy, delicious way to boost overall health and prevent disease. Now, another study examined 200-some people with malignant melanoma, a deadly skin cancer. These patients were being treated with immunotherapy, which is a new type of therapy that uses the body's immune system and directs it against cancer cells. The research found that those patients who had better survival were the ones who had a specific gut bacteria called ruminococcus. And this was linked to how much dietary fiber they were eating. The more fiber the patients were eating, the more ruminococcus, and the better the immune response against the cancer. How much fiber? Well, the study found that for every five grams per day of dietary fiber, five grams is the amount found in a medium-sized pear, there was a 30% decrease in the risk of the cancer progressing or death. Dietary fiber is essential for gut health and cancer prevention. It feeds beneficial bacteria in the microbiome, which in turn produce short-chain fatty acids that reduce inflammation and strengthen the gut lining. This helps protect against cancer, especially colorectal cancer. A fiber-rich diet promotes regular bowel movements, helping to remove harmful substances from the digestive system before they can cause damage. Fiber also plays a role in hormone regulation, binding to excess oestrogen and reducing the risk of hormone-sensitive cancers like breast cancer. By supporting a healthy gut, Fiber keeps your immune system strong and balanced, which is crucial in the fight against cancer. To reap these benefits, include fiber-rich foods like whole grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds in your diet. These not only nourish your microbiome, but also help detoxify and protect your body from cancer in multiple ways. So the field of food as medicine is evolving to show us how what we eat can not only make us healthier, but it can even be a matter of life and death. 
and cancer researchers are now discovering just how powerful our foods can be. So, there you have it, the connection between your microbiome and cancer, and how you can optimize your gut health to reduce cancer risk. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more tips on health and wellness, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Let me know in the comments what foods you're going to add to your diet to keep your microbiome strong. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.